Yeah, so everyone, this is my uh, Asus ME400C VivaTab Smart. Uh, as you, most of you who are watching these videos will know, this has been well reviewed on my channel. It's gotten a bit worse for wear here. Um, just want to do a video, very short, well, I'll try and keep it short. Uh, warning, my videos are long. If you don't like, you don't want to sit here and listen to me ramble on for ages. Um, better turn it off now. Um, but even so, I'm going to try and keep this shortish. Uh, what has happened here is I dropped it. Come on, focus. Focus. Well, this stupid webcam. Okay, there we go. I uh, dropped the um, device, fell out of the car on an edge, and Funnily enough, I dreamed about doing that about a night, a day or two before I did it, and then that happened. Um, and it worked fine for another couple of weeks, and so I wasn't too worried about it. You know, I, I didn't. I only bought this thing to sort of wear it out. I didn't buy it to um, keep it in perfect condition. I just wanted to use it like a device, like something that I'm not treasuring, but just something that I'm just going to use. So I didn't have it in a case. I didn't take particularly good care of it. I didn't mean to drop it, of course, but I dropped it, and so that was a bit, bit crap for a while. And then, um, just the other day, it all of a sudden the crack developed, and uh, there you can see the crack started moving along the screen, and it just went zing all the way across to the top edge, and now it's in uh, effectively in two pieces. And at that point the um, display stopped working. The uh, touch part of the display stopped working. The LCD is still fine behind it, although it's not uh, booting up anymore because I haven't had it on the charger. Um, but yeah, it doesn't work. So what I've done is I've had a quick look on eBay to see if you can get a screen, and you can. You can get like the digitizer part. It's quite expensive, 150 to $200. Um, I think that was my dollars, so around 150 bucks or so, and uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to bother doing it because um, these are. I saw these on special recently. They're only about 400 dollars. Just selling them off here. Um, that's my local currency, so that's um, higher dollars than American dollars. So I'm just um, going to. I'm just shoving my fingers down the edge. I always could tell that there was an edge you could sort of get into it from around here. So you have to be able to get into it somehow. And that was this edge. And so I'm just shoving my fingernails in there. Ah! Giving it a squeeze, a pinch, and a jerk, and a ah, stretch to see if I can pull it apart. And where I can't, I will take my trusty old stainless steel guitar pick and use that probably damage something on the way. I'm uh, not hugely fussed. I nearly, um, nearly pre-ordered a Surface 2 the other day, Surface 2 Pro, but uh, didn't. Thought I should wait. Because there are all these new um, Atom Bay Trail tablets coming out over the next few months, next couple months or so, heaps of them. A lot of interesting tablets coming out. And uh, I'm still not looking to replace my desktop, so I don't really need um, a full core tablet um, like the Surface Pro is. And they're just still big and thick and hot, you know, compared to something like this, which is it was nice to use. I would have hated to have dropped a Surface Pro. Whereas this thing, I mean, it was sad to drop it, but it didn't kill me. You know, it's not the worst thing I've ever done. Okay, well, that's actually um, coming apart. Look at that. That's not too bad. Um, not sure how it's meant to come apart. I'm being pretty rough here. Let me just have a look down there. It's looking down the slot. Okay, there's the um, headphone thingy, so it might it's possibly meant to do that. Okay, there we go. Um, and at the other end, oh, we've got my uh, little card, my little tiny um, SD card, 16 gig. That used to be in um, something. I used to have that in my Android phone. That was a 
ways to a good SD card. Um, okay, what else have we got here? We've got the USB, we've got the uh, HDMI thingy. Sort of getting hung up on that. I'm just going to shove this um, this pick in here again. See if I can get it open. Yes, there we go. Well, here we go. It's my um, Asus VivaTev Smart unboxing. Let's have a look at what we've got in here. We have the A Acon Asus something or other ME400. Wi-Fi antenna, presumably. Oh, that was the NFC um, antenna right there, up in that area. That was in there. Some shielding, little lens, little uh, Fresnel lens for the um, LED. It says ME400 GPS AHF, and then a bunch of codes, and of course a QR code. I wonder what the QR code does. Shall we see what that does? It's so tiny, I don't know how it's, don't know if it can be read with one of these. Let's try. Come on, you can read it. Read it. Ooh, ooh. Let's try that. See, it might be a bit too... No, it's just not able to focus. Hmm. No. No, this camera just can't quite get focus. It can't get close enough. Because that's really, really tiny. Um, so, that's a fail. Okay. Well, construction of this thing. Pretty solid, actually. This back, I mean, it always felt good, this um, case, and it feels good like that. It still feels quite sturdy. Right, let's look at the device here. Josh, look at that great big battery. I guess that's two big batteries, isn't it? One there, one there. Yeah, it is two. That's two big batteries. And the screen, in order to get to that, all this has to come off. Well, it's not impossible. Let me bring over my little um, pile of screwdrivers. Yep. Okay, I might just uh, do this while we're here on camera. Let's take the most obvious ones out. These are magnets here, quite strong. Although not that strong. They were for um, oh, what are the little covers you could get. That's right. Don't know if it needs that one. Yes, it will. I guess that's pretty likely. Don't know if it needs that one. Probably. some circuitry that will have to come off probably. So I'll go up into this corner up here. It's one underneath that edge. Bit of flex there. The speakers they obviously come off. It's actually two, isn't it? So that's certainly not making it budge. Yeah, that's not been enough to pull it to pieces. So let's continue. What else have we got? I guess I probably have to take the batteries out. That's probably quite likely. Probably have to take most of this stuff off. Okay. 
this, seeing how much I can be bothered doing right now. Little connectors everywhere, Very delicate little connectors. Oh well, let's have a go. Let's um, let's do the. Uh, Let's do some of these things. I'm just going to use the back to stick things to. Um, it's possible. We shall find out. Uh, if anyone wants to know how this has been going, though, the uh, tablet's been good. I've used it a lot. Battery holds up fine. Um, it still has that issue where it uh, occasionally when I'll turn it on it won't come on so I have to hold the uh, button down until it does a sort of a cold restart and that always brings it back but it's a bit silly that it happens in the first place so there's some sort of driver or something that's uh, problematic I haven't been back to look for a second lot of um, software updates but if you have one of these, you should go along to ASUS and get the first slot. Because that definitely made it um, a bit more reliable. Fixed the uh, fixed a few things. I didn't get around to installing Windows 8.1 because this happened just before that was released. I have installed 8.1 on my desktop. It failed. And one piece of advice I can give anyone thinking of upgrading is to run the compatibility tool compatibility checker I think they call it um, it's offered during the setup of Windows 8.1 during the upgrade it's offered somewhere it says there's a link that says here run the compatibility checker it may or may not have found the issue with my particular PC I don't know because I didn't do it but uh, it probably would have and the issue was with the um, Steel Series mouse driver. This thing here, this mouse, it's got a little control panel, and that was uh, that locked up the whole computer and stopped stopped it upgrading. And I only found it out because I figured it out because when it came back after the whole thing um, failed to install, it took a couple of hours, and then um, when it came back and it had reverted back to Windows 8, the mouse wasn't working and it would not come back and uh, eventually uh, I sort of put two and two together after reading on the internet things you know that a particular driver or something would cause the uh, failures I went and uh, I decided it's probably the mouse driver so I went to their site or no, I typed that into Google my mouse Windows 8 put one upgrade and sure enough other people had the same problem so yeah not that successful Mm -hmm. I'm just looking for what else I need to remove here before this battery tray will come out. Um, as you can see, I'm not doing a very professional job of this. I don't really care. I mean, is that holding it in there? That thing? It could be. That could be the actual power, where the power goes. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, check again. Nope. Still held in very tightly. I don't know about what. By this piece of tape. Tape in um, laptops and devices like this. Well, it makes sense. Um, no, that wasn't holding it. Okay, I 
It's like the whole thing wants to come out instead. See this whole whole base is lifting already. There's these little clips like that. Yeah, that's sort of holding it in, isn't it? Oops. Another exciting video. Yes, that is. That's a clip. Okay, well, if there's a whole bunch of those. Isn't a whole bunch of them. Another screw, though. Surprising number of screws for this device, but then it always felt very solid, didn't it? I think I pointed that out in the video. Yeah, it didn't really squeak or creak. Held up very well. As I say, I used um, I ended up using mostly the Metro apps, though. So, for example, Outlook, uh, sorry, uh, OneNote, I used a lot because I use that on my phone and my desktop. That's good. And the um, in one of my videos, I went into detail about how the um, capacitive um, stylus doesn't work on the um, doesn't work for drawing. Didn't work for drawing in out in, in the uh, Metro version of um, yeah. It didn't work for drawing in the Metro version of um, OneNote. Well, that's how we clip it and clip it. Okay. There we go. Learn something every day, eh? And uh, so I used the the little um, feedback form inside inside the program. You know, when you go to the charms menu on your right, oh, the screws are sticking to the um, magnets. Go to the charms menu when you're in the program. Go up to some programs have a feedback link there, and so I went to that and uh, gave them some feedback, two or three suggestions, and um, couple of them turned up in the upgrade. One of them was the suggestion to uh, about the um, I didn't want the keyboard being on all the damn time. It was really hard to get rid of the keyboard in Outlook. Every time you touched the screen the keyboard was up. Sorry, in uh, OneNote Metro. So that was really irritating. So I left a rather irate message about that. And they fixed that, which was cool. And then I left a message about about the um, capacitive stylus. So it was like the drawing tools. That's what I discovered in the video was that the drawing tools were not enabled if you didn't have a digitizer, an active digitizer. They weren't enabled for the um, capacitive pen tablets. So I put in a suggestion about that, and that also showed up a couple months after in a. Um, in an update, so it seems to work, which is really cool. They listen, and why wouldn't they? As, um, I'm sure they've all got little teams working on these uh, programs and trying to fix them up. Well, I'm just being pretty rough here, pulling all this to pieces. Uh, but there's your. Uh <laughs> Hang on. There, there's the computer. Is that the computer? Gosh. ME400C says on there. Is that the whole thing? Well, that's the whole thing. I'm impressed. Gosh. Oh, so thin, and the whole thing's so flexy and lightweight. I mean, it's just. Just nothing in it. Camera, audio. Don't know if that's a CPU there on that side under that little uh, bit. But um, there you go. Tiny, tiny little computer. So I'll just put that there. 
what are we trying to do? We're trying to remove the screen. I just didn't want it to turn into this kind of drama. But it looks like it's gonna. And I see the trouble is I haven't got a replacement screen, so then what do I do with all these screws? I know what happens, then I'll end up in a in a jar. <laughs> and and I'll have to try and uh, remember where they all go afterwards. Which is not usually that hard. Okay. So many screws. Okay, what else? Just lift it up and have a look in here. There's the actual um, LED panel, which appears to be stuck together still in this corner, all well, because of this drama. So I'm going to see if there's any more screws. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. It was just that flex there that was holding it. And this bit of tape. Again, I'm doing a fairly rough job of this, so I'm not really too concerned. Okay. I don't want to undo that um, kink. Seems a bit too risky. Okay, there's uh, basically just the chassis and the batteries, which are very thin. I mean, obviously they need to be thin, but they are very thin. 3.7 volt batteries. Gosh. Two very, very thin ones. Um, right, I'll put this away. I'll put it over there. Uh oh, I just heard a screw drop. Oh well. And what have we got left here? This is the actual video screen, the LED screen. Be fun to have a look at. There's a <clears throat> some sort of piece of plastic that's come off over here. Oh, it's a bit rubbery. A bit rubbery. What would be a bit? What would need to be a bit rubbery over here? Not sure, but that's co that was covering something in that corner. We'll see. All right. What else? That's just coming out. Right, what's on the front of this? Ooh. Ooh, I don't want to get any fingerprints on that. Um, wow, that's thin. I mean, it's so thin. Nice. Real thin. Okay. And uh, I'm not replacing that, obviously, because that's... Uh, Perfectly fine. What I am replacing is this bit. And so the uh, exercise here was to see if I could uh, replace this. Now, I thought this glass would have to come out of here, but it doesn't. That, that's got to come in one piece. It must come in one piece. I hope it comes in one piece. Um, what was this? That was the. Oh, my little USB thingy, too. That was um, all buggered up. I remember from one of my videos, too. Uh, I don't know if we can examine that now a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah, screwed that up. Um, I should be able to fix that up a little bit better than I was able to from the outside. Okay. Excellent. Right, so I'm going to go on to um, eBay and have a look at these screens. And I'm pretty sure, actually let me just, um, may as well finish off this video with a look on eBay. Why not? Yeah, I've just um, I've just decided to cut a whole section out of the middle of this video, so um, which I don't normally do, because uh, 
don't have time to, but this was I just rambled on for ages about getting this part off eBay for this uh, for the screen. And uh, the gist of it is that um, I find I found one seller that has two has two of these um, screens. They've used the same photos in both and uh, exactly the same photos, exactly the same description, everything exactly the same except up here one of them says one thing and the other one says exactly the same thing but with the addition of this little number in there which is there, that number, otherwise it's the same as that and the rest of the description is identical as well and it's the same seller so I'm not sure which screen I've got so I've, I've just been investigating all that hopefully I've cut it all out of this video and you're just hearing this end bit so I'm going to leave it at that, I'll upload this um, when I get a screen I will video putting it all back together again and uh, hopefully the whole thing will all start working okay then, well thanks for watching um, watching the sad uh, near the end of life for this device Hopefully you guys who have bought uh, your own ME400s uh, are faring better. And uh, yeah, don't drop your um, don't drop your tablets. Is the lesson? It's the only only lesson there. Alrighty. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.